Apparently, it's not only the artists and programmers who are going to get automated in the nearest future, but also musicians, because these three guys, Stanford researchers, to whom I'm incredibly grateful, they dropped this incredible paper and neural network, completely free and open source, that can transcribe any song into MIDI files or even sheet music. I played for a little of it, and it does incredible stuff, gets most of the stuff right. Um, it's been trained on mostly pop songs, so it does better with them. For those interested, I'm gonna leave all the links in the description. Uh, let's give it a try just to demonstrate how it works. So first, I'm gonna need to run the program here. It's called the Sheet Sage. And I, if I want to use YouTube as a source, I'm just gonna need to uh, copy the link. Let's try um, miss you. So copy link address, paste it here as an argument to this program, and it starts fetching the audio, retrieving audio. You can also pass an MP3 file, of course. It starts detecting beats after that. And you can run it on a potato, on a calculator, anything. There's also much more demanding version of it uh, that requires uh, NVIDIA GPU with 10 plus gigs of VRAM, I think, or 12 plus. Yeah, but it's all, it also supposed to work better if you're getting unsatisfactory performance with that one. So it is done transcribing, and let's see what it got us. So this is a new folder, and by default it outputs the PDF. That's supposed to be the, what, Monsieur, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, harmonies and MIDI file too. I'm gonna play the MIDI file, let's see how close it is to the original. You know, it doesn't sound close at all. Uh, which, which one I transcribed? I don't remember. Um, which one is that? Monsieur, yeah. This one, it didn't get. It did get the harmonies, though. Uh, the melody, not so much. Let's try something else. Something I'm actually familiar with. This one. This one's nice. Uh, let's do that one. In general, the ones I tried, it did a fantastic job on that. Sometimes it refuses to run, especially if a song has multiple key changes, tempo changes, as a what, uh, 4 over 4, I don't remember what it's called, key signature, I think, uh, change and all of that modulation. It has some trouble getting that correctly, but uh, don't consider it a final product, consider it a stepping stone and maybe even a foundation to what's yet to come because this is incredible. It's maybe 20 to 30% better and more accurate than the previous models. And the fact that you can just run it like that. Okay, which song is this? I oh, stay together for the kids. Let's listen to the MIDI file it produced. Whoa. You can sing along to that, because the harmonies are all right. At least for money. Well, this piece is good perfectly. Oh no, which one? No, I, I lost it, okay. Well. Let's try something else now, because this one it got partially right, but I want to see whether it can get 
something even better. Oh, all the small things is that's incredible. Let's try this one. Uh, you can try a bunch of others, uh, various g genres, not just pop songs, but I personally did not give it a try yet. Curious as to how that's gonna turn out. Uh, let me know if you have any trouble installing that. Uh, for now, you need Ubuntu or Debian or other Linux distro for that. Maybe you can run it with Docker. Not that sure. Uh, let me know how it goes. This stuff is... I'm overly excited. More than I should be. Just imagine what's yet to come. Transcribing. Almost done. That fast. It would take a musician much longer than that. Yeah, the one who doesn't have perfect pitch at least. Okay, all the small things. Let's give it. Let's give it a listen. That's the intro, I think. Da 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 da